morning everyone, or at least it's two in the afternoon. So it's morning for me. Um, I don't really feel like doing an intro right around now because I'm super tired. Um, that should not be there. That should, but that should not be. I'm going to move you because if not, you're going to confuse the crap out of me. Okay, so today we are going to be going back to the Mentally Advanced series and the Rainbow Dash Present series because I have nothing else to watch and I have to do something. Um, and forgive me if I sound kind of tired, if I sound kind of run down, and if I don't really react all that much in these reactions, which is kind of low quality, but whatever, I'm going to try my best. Um... Where are they? They're right here. Okay. Um, you know, I'm just, I've been really stressed out lately. Well, with the whole no internet thing. But I'm just deleting a bunch of, like, stuff I don't need right now. Okay, so. <sighs> we are going to be watching, like, I think, from what I can tell, we, I finished, I know for a fact I finished the, um, the one that was a parody of My Little Dashy. Did they straight up call it? Yeah, they called it My Little Dashy. So that means I'm going to watch Alicorn Day, Investment Losses, and Budget Impasse all in one episode today. Because from what I understand, they are pretty short. And to be honest, I didn't even know I had to watch them um, in the beginning. Because I figured, oh, they're just announcements for this channel. You know, they're going through some financial stuff. That's cool. Um... I'm talking about investment losses and budget impasse, by the way. I knew for a fact that it was going to be watching Alicorn Day, because obviously it has something to do with Princess Twilight. Um, you know, I figured, oh, okay, they're short, whatever. I don't have to watch them because they're not important. But apparently, according to this list that I downloaded, as well as my friends, I do have to watch them for some weird reason. So that's going to be very interesting. And they're short, so we're going to see if we can get three episodes done today. But I don't know. It's, it's done this to me before. It made me think certain things, but then it ended up being horribly wrong. So, we're just going to have to wait and see. So, Alicorn Day is first. And... I'm just pulling it up right now. I'm organizing stuff, guys. I'm sorry. I'm really unprepared this time. Because I really, I really wanted to jump back into it. And all that good stuff. So, I'm, I am really sorry. Okay, so let's just get started. Three, two, one, go. Following is a transformative parody intended for mature audiences. Because I'm totally mature, right? And there's Twilight. The animation's pretty nice. <laughs> this game for you. <laughs> so hey, you remember that one that she sent you where she asked you to get those pictures of Applejack's brother? Yeah. And then she told you <laughs> to write a critique on Mac's physical appearance. Yeah. Then she sent your critique to Mac. Yeah. Would you tell you? Oh, that's a shame. The screwdriver is persuasive, but not seductive, and also rarely charges out the butt for stuff I really <laughs> think she should do as a friend. So, what's uh -oh. this one then? It says, "Drink this, then tell me what you learn." All right. Hang on. <laughs> that's the um, American educational system at its okay. finest. Go ahead. Oh. Ugh, it's got an aftertaste. Ew. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, I see you didn't barf up the spell. Uh, I know she nice. can make these potions palatable. Anything happen? Aye. But truth be told, it's come so far out of left field for me, I don't actually have any feelings about it. What? Wow. <laughs> oh. What? Wait. What? Pretty this much is what I nice. <laughs> no one's going to understand, but here we are. Oh, so, uh, I now, like Alicorn this. Princess? I really do. Everywhere? Burn them. Oh. Now available. <laughs> oh, hey, it's you. Sorry. I, I just turned into an alicorn today. I'm not used to the wings. It's cool. Yeah. You understand. So, 
It's like Questry Daily. Different being an uh, actor. Uh, a little. I was what? thinking about. I, I can't read it. It's too smudged, and my eyes hurt too bad. In some awesome battle to get something I like. Hey, now that I'm a god, from now on you're gonna give me my books for free. See, but then I can't think of anything where violence is really gonna benefit me in the long run. Hey, come on, you don't have to close down. This is nice. I'll pay normal price. I'll pay. Okay, fine. I'll pay double. I mean, oh, I always Jesus had the potential Christ. to be violent. So that I is guess nothing mean. has changed. Maybe now it's worse. I want you keep the bookstore oh. open. You keep the bookstore open, or I will summon the king in yellow into your left ear. So you're an Jesus now, Jesus huh? Christ. Yep. You <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Well, it, your wings are really cool. Nice. Yeah, I guess they're okay. You're you very pretty. You can get around pretty. really fast with those, I bet. I guess that's true. Oh, hang on. I gotta go check on something. <laughs> Sorry, I'm cooking dinner right now and I almost forgot about it. Why don't you just use your godlike magic powers to fix the dress? I don't have time to be fixing all your clothes if you're just gonna spontaneously grow wings. I don't know any spells oh, for fixing clothes. Oh, I didn't clothes. think of that. Then again, I don't wear clothes. But that would suck. I mean, come on. That's like the downside of losing weight, too. It's like you have to get rid of all your clothes because they don't fit. And you have to buy new ones. Today, I learned... <laughs> what did you learn? Oh... Uh, gosh dang it <laughs> but that was nice though that was nice that i really did enjoy that that was funny like i remember when i first learned about twilight corn and i broke down and everything and you guys were all very sympathetic and very nice and you guys were really nice with vocalizing your op like opinions on the matter but enough time had passed for me to like understand that you guys had not only gotten used to the idea of this happening but you guys had come to accept it so I, I always wanted to know what everybody thought of Twilight Corn, like right as it was happening, because I obviously had a very different opinion about the whole ordeal than what was, you know, kind of normal. Because I know that Twilight isn't like everybody's favorite, um, but it, she was mine. She is mine. And it's just like, yeah. <sighs> so that was nice. I like that. And the animation, I don't know if it's just because I haven't watched it in a while, but it seems like it's gotten a lot smoother, especially with the whole magic thing. And it was really nice. So, investment losses. It looks to be the longest one that we have to watch. I think it was roughly seven minutes long, which is not bad. But I still don't know what it'd be about. So, that's a thing. Three, two, one, go. Character Aurora. Ah! Depicted in Mr. Green. Aww. Yeah. His art's gotten really nice and clean, too, if you guys haven't noticed it. This is nice. I'm digging this. I'm digging the music, too. Christ, Claude. <laughs> Wander off, Aurora. We got a lot to do today, and we still need to head by the embroidery warehouse before Your 3 p.m. Your is nice. Hey, Mom, can we get the one shaped like a car? I want to ride in the one like a car. Sorry, honey. I need one I can put your sister in. Hey, how about we get some soda, Mom? Soda sounds like a really good idea. It now, does. We already have soda at home, dear. And oh, you're about to run out. In the store, then. My, we don't that's need what I say like soda, every time. Aurora. I could use a new ball for only four bits. I can't read that sign. I think it's moving a pretty much a steal of a deal. Come on, sweetheart. Bland flakes. Apple checkers. <laughs> now, Mom, I need Cow. you to listen carefully because I'm about to lay down this very practical business proposal. Oh, dear. Now, the cereal you see here, I know you don't like it as much as... I'm just, like, looking at all of them. Flakes, <laughs> but the I names. think we should give it a try. The box has got... Entertainment value. If you oh. look on the back of the box, there's a comic for me to read. And while it looks like the punchline is that the cereal mascot really likes the cereal, there is also an advertisement for a free toy. Hmm. There's no additional cost, and in today's economy, we we can't <laughs> afford to be paid for new toys all the time. This is nice. <laughs> now it. It does contain marshmallow bits. In fact, it, 
is entirely the scenario of marshmallow bits. But it nice. says here that it can be a complete breakfast. I wonder what it's like having also, embroidery the box as is green, and I think I'm assuming it's can embroidery. Agree that that is... I used to embroider and like that's what oh, I would use. Oh god, how long have I been standing here? I was enjoying the cereal so much that time lost all meaning. Oh dear. That's how they get you, though. Oh no, I knew it! My mom's already come and gone with the cereal joys. We've parked right here. There is still time! I, I can still cut my mom off for the embroidery warehouse. <laughs> okay, so it is embroidery. Nice! Oh, excuse me, but you wouldn't happen to know. I wonder if it hurts Next to be a voice arrives, like would you? 215, I think? Did we miss the bus, maybe? It's 2.15 right now. Well, I've been bus. here a few minutes, so we haven't missed it yet. What nice. if the bus came early? If they came like five or six minutes ago and we weren't here to see it, maybe we did miss the bus and we are never going to die. There it is. It's nice though. Oh, the way there you it is. The bus. You are did late, you pay my for sir. that? I think you could certainly sign It really does suck that Aurora's cutie mark is glue though. I mean, like, I bet everybody looks at that cutie mark is like, oh damn. Excuse me, sir, you forgot to pay for your daughter. Sir? <sighs> <laughs> oh, what? Oh! Well. Then. Okay. Excuse me, little girl, are your parents not with you? Excuse me! <laughs> Weird adults talking to a little kid. I'm supposed to avoid stranger danger situations. <laughs> or that I need myself a pretty wide bubble without any strangers in it. Now, are you going to have. I'm just looking at all the characters because they're pretty well situation. designed. <laughs> just like the show. Oh, gosh. Thank dang. you. I can tell by the lack of proximity to me that you are probably okay, adults. That's nice, Aurora. Mixed soys. Open forever. Hey, hey, where are your parents? In the store, mister. No thanks to you. Because of your slow driving, oh, dear. I am nearly late. I said you ought to be more punctual, but you didn't listen. I'm supposed to be at this stop by 2.40. Oh, well, then I'm sorry. You don't think that was our bus, do you? Nah, they're supposed to wait if they get here early. Well, I hope so. The next bus doesn't come by for another half hour. Oh dear. Uh, mister! Uh, mister, you gotta help me! I, I've lost my mom! Oh, it's alright, little girl. What's your mom's name? Nitty Needles! Mm -mm. Uh, Miss Nitty Needles, we have your daughter. Please come to the front of the store, Miss Nitty Needles. We have your daughter. Miss Nitty Needles? Oh, gosh, Please dang. come to the front of the store. That seems really... We have your daughter. ...unefficient. Miss Needles? Like, imagine how much I money it took to I did not abandon my daughter. Really. I have no idea how she got to the embroidery warehouse. See, now this is some pretty good cereal, it turns out. I can't believe that this is a balanced breakfast. I it's mean, not, why though. do ponies even eat sensible cereal flakes? Oh, cool, I found a sticker, and it's one of the Wonder Boats. Nice. Which one of them do you think it's supposed to be? Uh, I think that's Soren. <laughs> nice. All right, then. <laughs> Store cashier, Alice. Way to go, Alice. I'm proud of you. This is nice. <laughs> Aurora is really freaking cute, though. I mean, like, out of. No, 
I don't want to call her my favorite, but, you know, she's up there. Like, when it comes to this series, I mean, like, yeah, she's she's pretty cool. Okay, and next one's Budget Impasse, and this one, I believe, is, like, really short, like, less than a minute. So, I really, I don't know. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, just, like, look at the artwork. It's All gotten right, so... I think oh. you'll agree to this one. I am not dressing as a banana. <laughs> you, Mr. <Christian laughs> you to dress as a She's banana. She's a banana. It is your civic duty. I've seen that video, Boom. by the way. I have been making compromises. And My I, like, I've seen the original one, too. And it, during it's, state it's functions. Funny. It doesn't belong in the budget plan, Luna. Well, how else am I supposed to get you to dress as a banana? You have refused to be open to negotiations. Luna, we have two weeks to agree on a proper budget. Well, then. Oh, uh... <laughs> you should have dressed as a banana this year! Jesus I'm Christ. Moon. I'm moon. So that's actually how the whole war started. Seriously? Yeah. Man, politics is way different than I imagined. Oh. <laughs> oh, if only it was like that in real life. Okay, it would just make it so much more entertaining. But no, instead we have the monstrosity that we do. Okay, well, how long has this been going on? About 16 and a half minutes. I'm gonna end it here. It was very funny. And I'm glad I'm glad I watched him because I now realize it yeah, it it was that was great. I'm I'm glad. Um so I believe the next one for me to watch is Bittersweet and Yeah. Let me I'm going to I'm going to double check on that cuz I'm not 100%. But I know Bittersweet's coming up and I'm actually I'm kind of excited about that one cuz uh it's a favorite apparently. But yeah. So, I will end it here and I will fly with you guys later.